So, me and my dog, Sadie Mae, are out here today in the woods. Uh, day after Christmas, it's pretty cold out today. And I'm gonna be looking around for the mushroom known as chaga, growing on white and yellow birch trees, I think, exclusively. Now, I don't know much about chaga, but uh, it's a highly medicinal mushroom and it's a highly sought after mushroom. And it looks like just a big black mass on the sides of white and yellow birch trees. Not to be confused with burls, which are, I don't know how they occur, but it's a different type of like mass that you can see on trees, which it's like just a big knot in the side of the tree. But chaga is pretty distinctive looking. Uh, like I said, it's a big black area and when you break it apart, it's got a orange hued inside. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna be looking around a little bit today while bringing my dog on a walk and see if I can score some chaga. I got a hammer in my backpack to break it off because it can be really hard to get the, the chunks of chaga off. But if I see any, uh, I'll be back with a clip of it for sure, so stay tuned. Disclaimer, I did not find any chaga mushrooms throughout this entire video, and it turns out more or less just to be uh, videoing random varieties of mushrooms, which isn't bad at all. So I just wanted to let you guys know that there's no chaga in this video. Thank you for watching. Just came across the birch that has not chaga, but these, I think it's either a birch polypore or some type of conch mushroom i'm not exactly sure the name on it but that's not the only reason i wanted to uh clip this it's this thing right here this tree kind of has the the burl things i was talking about that you can mistake for chaga just because it's like a big mass on the side of the tree you see there's another little one right there but uh yeah this is different than the mushroom uh if i can find any you'll see why but it, it is easy to confuse just a big, you know, scar coming off or not like that coming off the side of the tree for chaga. And I just wanted to show an example of that. You see May being a good girl, just waiting for me to get moving so she can keep heated up. But yep, yeah, I'm going to keep looking. Pretty little babies are right here. Look at a couple different types. What is that? What? What is that? Oh my gosh, what the hell? What is that? It's pretty weird. It looks like some type of mushroom. Mycelium action right there. I thought it was like one of those little wooden burl things. If you know, yeah, if you know what this is, tell me. I don't know what that is. Definitely smells like a mushroom for sure. Ooh, that, that feels cool. Oh, it's got spikes. I think that's like a... I just recently heard the name of this mushroom. I don't remember what it's called, though. It has spikes rather than pores. Kind of cool. Still looking for a chaga. Still looking for a chaga mushroom. They're easy to see, but I guess kind of uh, rare where I'm at. We have found them before. My dad and his wife actually came out here a couple months ago probably and harvested a bunch of chaga. And they probably, hopefully not, but they probably got the majority of what's around here, at least for the time being. But I'm hoping that while I'm out here, I can find at least a little piece of it, you know what I mean?
probably just dead moss. But yeah, I'm gonna keep searching. I'll be back. So once again, not chaga, but found a little batch of witch's butter out here. I've always wondered what this one was called. And I recently started following an Instagram page that posts mushrooms specifically from my area. And saw a picture of it, and I'm, this is called Witch's Butter. And I can tell why. It's a weird jelly-like consistency. Uh, there's black Witch's Butter, too, which is basically just like this black goo on the sides of stumps and trees and stuff. That little mini mushroom right there. You get into something, baby. Why are you sneezing? Uh, I'll keep the clip going. I saw another cool looking mushroom down here on the side of this birch tree right here. Bracket mushroom. Right over here. Whoa, I'm falling. Looks old, looks like an old mushroom. Beat right up. Insect damage, probably. This looks like an area where I should see some chaga. Like that big old tree over there, you see that one? It's like Chaga City right there. I'm dedicated though, I'm gonna keep looking. So I don't know if this was put here or what, but yeah, I'm just seeing this for the first time. Uh, I'm really thinking it was put up there. Still red. That's crazy. I'm gonna hold on to this and try to find out how it got there. That's a baby. That's a baby deer right there. At least a young one at that. That's crazy though, I've never found an antler, let alone attached to the skull still. I'm gonna hold on to this, see if I can find out why it was out here. Cause that's pretty weird to just be stuck up in the tree like that. Which is butter, you see it? I think these are woodpecker holes. Never seen this before. Thought that was pretty cool. So, I'm back out at the edge of my woods. Still have not found any chaga. Bunch of random mushrooms though. Last little peak right here. It's a nice one, I like that. There you can see those those teeth I was talking about rather than pores or gills. It's got spikes. Another one down here. Hanging out, hiding. But yeah, that's too bad I wasn't able to find any chaga, at least on camera. I've found it out here before, but uh, you know, funny thing is I wasn't even really looking for it. And now I come out here looking for it and it's nowhere to be found. 
Uh, so I'll more so just consider this video a nice little variety mushroom hunt, a little random mushroom hunt. Looking for chaga though. I was looking for chaga. So if you stuck around watching the beautiful nature and fungus action, thank you so much. And I will be back with more, hopefully, when I can find some chaga.